As the 19th century was drawing to a close, the world was in a state of flux. Among the most notable power shifts was the rise of the United States, a nation eager to assert itself on the global stage. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Spain was clinging to its dwindling empire, struggling to maintain its colonial grip on the world. In the Caribbean, the island of Cuba was a powder keg, with its fight for independence from Spain becoming a cause célèbre for many Americans. The sinking of the USS Maine in Havana Harbor further stoked the flames, sparking outrage and calls for retaliation from the United States. Simultaneously, Spain was grappling with its own internal strife and was ill-prepared for a confrontation with a burgeoning power like the United States. This escalating tension, coupled with the geopolitical aspirations of the United States, created a volatile mix. The stage was set for a conflict that would redefine the international landscape. On April 25, 1898, the United States declared war on Spain. This marked the start of a pivotal conflict that would reshape the global power structure. The opening salvo was the US blockade of Cuba, a strategic move aimed at crippling Spain's resources. As the blockade tightened, Spain found itself increasingly cornered, unable to break free from the iron grip of the American Navy. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, the Battle of Manila Bay unfolded. Admiral George Dewey, a key figure in the war, led the US Asiatic Squadron into victory against the Spanish Pacific Squadron. His command was decisive, his strategy effective, cementing his place in the annals of military history. In the United States, President William McKinley directed the war from the White House with a steady hand, leading the nation into a conflict that would define its role on the international stage. The war was in full swing, with both sides determined to come out on top. The summer of 1898 marked a turning point in the Spanish-American War. As the heat of the season intensified, so too did the conflicts on the battlefield. The Battle of Santiago de Cuba stands as a monumental event in this saga. Here, the United States showcased their naval prowess, resulting in the devastating destruction of the Spanish fleet. This was not merely a military victory, but a symbolic one. The once formidable Spanish Armada lay in ruins, a testament to the rising power of the United States. This victory signaled a seismic shift in global dynamics, cementing America's position on the world stage. Suddenly, the United States was no longer an observer in global affairs, but a key player. This pivotal moment in the war marked a new chapter in America's history, one filled with newfound responsibilities and challenges on the global stage. With the Spanish fleet in ruins, the tide of the war had decisively turned in favour of the United States. The Spanish-American War came to an end on August 12, 1898. The curtains fell on this conflict with the Treaty of Paris, setting the stage for a new era. Spain, once a formidable global power, ceded Puerto Rico, Guam and the Philippines to the United States. These territories became chess pieces in the grand game of global politics, shifting the balance of power the aftermath of the war painted a stark picture. For Spain, it was a period of loss and reflection, a time to lick the wounds of defeat. For the United States, it was a golden opportunity to flex its newfound strength on the world stage. The war's end, however, wasn't merely an exchange of territories. It was a seismic shift in the global political landscape. It marked a new chapter in the history books, one where the United States took center stage. The Spanish-American War marked the emergence of the United States as a world power. The Spanish-American War was a pivotal moment in history. Our journey began with a world on the brink, where tensions simmered between the United States and Spain over Cuba and the Philippines. We delved into the outbreak of the conflict, a war sparked by a mix of political pressures, economic interests and a sinking ship, the USS Maine. We then witnessed the turning point where American forces, backed by their powerful new steel navy, began to dominate, marking a shift in the tides of war. And finally, we saw the end of the war and its aftermath, a peace treaty that handed over control of Cuba, Puerto Rico, Guam and the Philippines to the United States. The Spanish-American War was not just a war, it was a transformation. It marked the United States' emergence from isolationism, propelling it to the forefront of global politics. With this victory, the United States had announced its arrival on the world stage, forever changing the course of history.